Rob, a quick reflection on last weekend. First trophy of the season in the bag, but a huge reward for Ricky, for Gareth, for Gareth and the team themselves. Oh, definitely. You know, those guys have worked extremely hard. You know, they put a lot, put a lot of effort in, a lot of focus into it. Um, that group of players has come together in every comp, you know, every week or every round or every challenge. They've come, they've come together really well at short notice. I think people don't quite realise that. You know, all of a sudden they get a, a week to prepare, and often it's a, a group that hasn't spent a lot of time together actually on the field. Um, and they've kind of gelled together fantastically well. I thought, I thought they came through some real adversity at the weekend because there was elements of the game that weren't weren't going very well for us. We were behind the scoreboard for a large part of the game, but we looked like the team that was growing. And I, I can't give the guys involved enough credit for that. You know, the group, they grew through it. They showed some belief. Um, and in the end, you know, I think I don't think anyone would say they weren't the team that was looking like it was going to win at the end. And for me, I I always like to say to the lads, you know, the best thing winning is great. But there's nothing better than winning games where you know you deserve to win. And that's what it felt like to me. It felt like they dug in when they really had to and then they deserved to win at the end. And that's always way more, I don't know, um, enjoyable, you know, when you know that hard work has really paid off and you've come through at the end together. We've been saying it all season, though. The kids are all right, though. This next batch are coming through. Yeah, but it, it was a good mix, wasn't it? You know, there was a, there were some genuinely like young players there with relatively little premiership experience who are looking like... They've got a lot about them, and I mean, and a couple missed out through injury as well, who we think are, are going to be very good players. But I think what was really nice is it just shows you that amalgamation of a little bit of experience or just a little bit of old, old ahead, along, but but all of you decide to work hard together is what creates that team performance. You know, the, the the most important thing for us to focus on here now is what creates a team performance across eighty minutes. And I thought what happened there was you saw a team performance across eighty minutes, and then across ninety, and then across one hundred. You know, that's what's pleasing. That's going to be our focus for the rest of the season as well, is how we create team performances across 80 minutes with a certain amount of intensity, because that's probably been our biggest challenge. You know, our biggest challenge to why we haven't probably won so many away games is we haven't maintained like a team integrity and intensity across enough minutes of a game to see a win home. We've done that a lot better at home, you know, on the whole, you know, we've come through some really tough challenges. You know, you think, you know, they gave me a sale recently, you know, they're, they're a good side, doing well in the Premiership, and we came through a tough trial there. But actually, we were quite well in control of that game, and our intensity waned for a little bit, and then we had to fight back and win it. And that's probably a bit of the tail of the season for us. We've got to try and just iron that out, get that a little bit more consistent across the 80 minutes, and the results will come. You talked about the rest of the season being winner takes all in a lot of ways. Mm. That last weekend was the first result of that. Bath this weekend. Away form, you talked about you want to get it better. Mm. It's, a, it's an acid test, I think you described it as, isn't it? Definitely. You know, this is this is what it's about now. You've t- what, four games in the Premiership left, um, and it's in our hands whether we extend the season beyond there. Because I, th- I do still believe it's in our hands. I mean, you can look at all the permutations that are there, and you can go, oh, well, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen, and it doesn't matter what it do. But actually, I think it is in our hands. I think if we, if we could go on a run now uh, of success, we would start to start to see some good things happen as well we climb through the table we have got a game in hand over several teams around us but we have to win you know having games in hand means nothing if you don't win and so you know we're, we're not in, not in completely last chance saloon we're not completely there but we're not far off you know it doesn't take a genius to see that and we're certainly haven't got a chance if we don't improve our away form so we may as well lump it into this game and go here we go this is it guys let's turn up let's get everything we've got you know shouldn't have any regrets after this weekend and let's see where we stand. Tell me about the threat of Bath because they, although they're bottom of the table, they've been there or thereabouts mm. in a lot of other games. Haven't they, they? They, picked up, they picked up more losing bonus points than we have, you know what I mean? And, and, that, and that shows you that they're actually in the games they've lost, they've been more tenacious than us. So that says something to me straight away. Um, and if you actually look at a lot of their games, they finish, they finish in tight scenarios for them. And they actually will probably look at this season as one of those seasons that could be a big stepping stone for them if they just turn three or four performances by one more score. So that's the, that's the threat for us. That's why we've got to talk a lot about our intensity across 80 minutes. Because if it, if it ebbs and flows, then Bath can, we'll get back into the game. You know, we've got to make sure that we set a tone and we set a thing that, that we're happy with. Now, if we win, if we win or we lose, I'll, I'll take, I can take that. We've got, to set a, we've got to set something out across the 80 minutes that we can walk off the pitch and be happy with. And if we do that, nine times a ten, that means we win games of rugby. So we're very focused on what it's going to take 
minute by minute, moment by moment, and how we align as a team. That's our, that's going to be our big mantra till the end of the season, mate. We saw the squad come together, the young lads winning last week, but the, the rest of the squad were up there cheering them on. The feel-good factor seems around the place. You're buoyed by all your, your internationals back now. Hmm. That's another positive to take into these last weeks of the season. But I think it's very important for us to remember this, and I think it's, I think it's very important to remember whether we win or lose. You know, Being a professional rugby player, be, being here, having the opportunity to play in finals, having the opportunity to play in, in just a single game of Premiership Rugby, you know, it is a privilege. You know, it's, 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 it, it's not really a job. I think, I think rugby, we're talking more about being jobs and careers and this type of stuff. We need to actually just backtrack a little bit and talk about it. it's a privilege, it's fun. We're very lucky to be here, you know, winning and losing. Yes, it's part of it, but actually being here, like I say, is a privilege. We want to make the most of every minute because in a, a sporting careers are gone in the blink of an eye. Uh, games are gone in even a shorter blink of time. They are, they are snapshots, but they give you a chance to build some real memories. And we just got to focus on that part of it. We got to just focus on building some memories for each other and for the club. Some guys who are moving on, this is the perfect time now for them to create some great memories of their time here. And for the young guys coming through, it, it can be the start of a load of great memories. And we've got to, we've got to focus on that. We've got to enjoy doing it. And we've got to relish these challenges that are coming. One man who's had lots of memories over his time, Dave Ewers, 200 Premiership and Champion Cups appearances this weekend. Just sum him up and the input he's given to this club over the years. Well, it's kind of been like... He's the glue? Yeah, well, he's, kind of, he's been a bit more than that, though, hasn't he? You know, he's been, he's been a very influential player game by game, which I think is very important. And I think he's been part of that group that have bonded the group together, just on how they socialise together, what's expected of them as a group, how emotionally involved they can be. You know, some of the some of the best moments with Dave, in my memory, because obviously I look at these things quite closely, is, is watching him celebrate tries and seeing that moat just seeing that genuine emotion and how much it means. And I think that that means more to me than anything else. It means more to me than medals or games won or trophies is watching those guys who have immersed themselves emotionally in what we do, because they're the guys who found the real joy and the real elation here. You know, the guys, the guys who've really bought into everything, like I say, have really committed emotionally, they're the guys who will leave with the best memories, because they are the best memories, aren't they? Those moments when it's real, and I mean like so real, it's obvious in your face, in your actions, and what you do, they're the guys who've really kind of made the most of their time here. And that's he. He's a kind of an epitome of what I want the players to be like these last these last few weeks. If this is the last few weeks of their career, buy him fully. You know, walk away with no regrets. Leave knowing that your last few weeks you were just as committed as you were right in the middle of the time here and right at the beginning of your time. Just let's go flat out and let's see what we can achieve. And the maturity he's shown. We all remember a young debut who hardly spoke when he mm. first arrived, but now he's a real leader within that camp, isn't he? Yeah, it's quite often like even listening when you're listening on the ref mic, he can he can sometimes even when we go a little bit quiet, he can sometimes be the guy who's barking and shouting and keeping moving guys around. So he and he has grown. He's grown within the changing room. It's difficult for me to say he's grown because he's been like that now for a number of years. You know, he's played in in so many big games, hasn't he? And, and I'm, he's one of those guys I'm really pleased they've achieved big things while they've been here. So they have won some trophies, he has picked up some caps. You know, there was probably a time when he was underrated internationally for quite a long period. You know, around that time we had him and Don and those guys in the back row. People were probably looking and going, oh, these guys not playing playing multiple times. They're top of the premiership, they're winning trophies and they haven't got them. Some of these forwards aren't picking up caps. They probably just just didn't quite fit in at the, at the, at the, wrong, at the wrong time for England and the right time for us. And that enabled us to pick a very strong group, and they they've been a core fundamental part of what we're about now, and and hopefully a lot of what they've done will rub off on our next group who are coming through behind them.